All right. So this is a new buy request video. I'm going to answer some of the questions that you sent in through our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Team Laika, or yung mga comments niyo sa mga videos, or basically the stuff that you send in uh, for me to answer. And uh, again, if you want me to answer one of your specific questions that you encountered or gusto niyo ng ganong topic, you can also always post a comment down below to request that. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. All right? Let's do this. Mic test, mic test, mic test, mic test, testing, mic, mic test, mic test, mic, mic test. Alright, this is a new buy request video. The first question that we're going to answer is this. Okay, chart. Sabi niya, if x over y is equal to 4, y over z is equal to 5, and z is equal to 2, what is the value of x. This is basically a, ano ba to, multiple variable problem. Now, hinahanap yung x, ang binigay lang is z. So, the uh, ang technique dito is to pa, parang i-reverse natin given the information kung ano yung x. Through this equation right here, you can solve for z. Y kasi, uh, you can solve for y kasi z is already given. So, what you would do would be is substitute lang natin yung 2 dun sa z. So, yung y the first equation natin, y over z is equal to 5. At since yung z is equal to 2, y over z, or y over 2, okay, is equal to 5, makukuha natin yung y. Okay? All we need to do is to multiply both sides by 2. Again, if you haven't seen the video on equalities, go ahead and watch that first to find out kung bakit ganito to, no? So, y is equal to 5 times 2, or... 10. So, y is equal to 10. Now, paano mahanap yung x? Isa substitute naman natin yung y dito sa equation na ito. Okay? Yun yung second equation natin, which is x over y is equal to 4. So, yung x over y, which is, alam na natin ngayon, 10, is equal to 4. So, ang gagawin na natin ngayon, multiply natin both sides by 10 para makancel itong part na ito. Same as yung ginawa natin dito x is equal to 4 times 10 or x is equal to 40. So, that is the answer. Alright? So, again, anong ginawa natin dito? Given kung ano yung binigay, i-reverse lang natin siya. So, ito i-fill in natin dito sa equation na ito, na equation number 1. Tapos, kung ano yung makukuha natin na equivalent ng y, i-fill in natin or i-substitute natin sa y na nandito. Okay? So again, you need to be comfortable with the idea of algebra and all the rules that govern that in order for you to solve this problem. Ayan. Next, the sum of two numbers is equal to 60 and the difference is 36. What is the value of the second number? So, um, hindi ko masyadong gets kung ano yung second number. Kung ano, bibigay ko na lang yung both siguro. Kasi hindi naman sinabi kung one what the second number is bigger or smaller than the other so hindi natin lang talaga yung any second number so again be very careful with the questions that you encounter no if you encounter this in a reviewer make sure na malinaw yung tanong kasi this one is it's vague no hindi alam ko any second number kung ang nakalagay is bigger or smaller pwede pa pero nakalagay second eh so uh, <laughs> medyo malabo yan now ang gagawin natin dito is basically since wala options is substitute natin yung mga numbers dun sa equation. Ngayon, we have two numbers. Sabihin natin si number A tsaka si number B. Again, very important for you to learn how to use the table. Kaya ang sabi, pag pinagsama mo daw sila, A plus B is equal to 60. Okay? At ang difference nila is 36. Now, let's deal with this first. Kung ang isang number dito ay X, okay, yung isang number will be 60 minus X. Okay? Now, bakit siya ganun? Kasi tagalogin nyo siya. Uh, or bigyan mo siya ng, ng example. I always tell my, my students, assign a value to x. So, bigyan mo ng value yung x mo kahit hindi talaga siya valuable. No? Um, example lang. Kunyari, if, okay, kunyari lang ha, theoretical lang, if x is equal to 10, kung kunyari lang, ano ang magiging, ano ang 60, ano ang, uh, if a is equal to 10, ano ang b? What is b? And sabi natin 60, ang sum nila. So, anong idadagdag mo sa 10 para maging 60? The answer would be 50, right? Ngayon, saan ang galing yung 50? Di ba minus natin yung 60? Uh, minus natin 60 minus 10? Or 60 minus A? 
So, yun yung gagawin natin dito. Yun yung concept dyan. Kaya, this becomes x is, this becomes 60 minus x. So, any, any time na may nakalagay na the sum of two numbers or three numbers or whatever is a number, you can subtract uh, x doon sa given number na yun. Ayun. Now that we already have itong a is equal to x and b is equal to 60 minus x, we can solve using the second equation. Ang second equation sabi, the difference is 36. Okay? Ngayon, dito napapasok yung second number, no? Kasi yung second number would should be, okay, uh, smaller than the other. Bakit siya magiging smaller than the other? Kasi hindi siya, ni negative 36. 36 siya, positive siya. So, siguro, ang ibig sabihin na sa second number is a minus b, ito yung mas maliit na number. Okay? Ito yung second number. Okay? But again, the question is vague, no? Hindi, hindi malinaw. Ngayon, anong gagawin natin next? We're going to substitute it to the equation. Ang sabi, the difference is 36. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang difference ng a minus b is equal to 36. And given this, yung alam natin, which is a can be x minus 60 minus x, which is yung b natin, is equal to 36. Okay? Now that we know that, we can solve for the answer. Ngayon, yung negative dito, very important for you to deal with it. Remember your PEMDAS. Okay? Pag merong negative na ganyan, tapos may parenthesis, ang gagawin mo is you have to assume na mi minus 1 yan, negative 1, times 60 minus x. Or basically, papalitan mo yung sign nung lahat na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, this becomes x plus, uh, x minus 60 plus x is equal to 36. Okay? Kasi yung minus 1 or negative 1, i-multiply mo sa 60 which will turn into a negative number, negative 60. And yung negative 1, multiply mo rin sa negative x which will turn it into a positive x. So, x plus x, that is 2x, okay, is equal to, and then ililipat natin yung negative 60 sa kabilang side. Again, rule ng equalities. So, this becomes 36 plus 60 or 2x is equal to 96. Okay? So, i-divide natin both sides sa 2. The answer, x is equal to um, 48. Okay? So, kung 48 yung isang number at ang sum nila ay 30, uh, ang, ang sum nila ay 60, ang gagawin mo lang to find out kung ano smaller number is 60 minus 48 or magiging 12. Okay? And if you notice, 48 minus 12, just to check, 48 minus 12 is equal to 36. Tama tayo doon. So, the answer is 12. Yan yung ating smaller number. And if they ask for the bigger number, uh, then you, ang answer mo would be 48. Okay? I hope that was clear. Next. This is an age problem. Actually, I solved a number like this because um, a question like this went viral a few months ago. Uh, I will link it up here dito sa annotation natin. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and watch that first. No? Mahaba na yung discussion na yun. In this... Uh, video, I'm going to just show you how it's done, no? Magta-table form lang tayo. Again, if you haven't seen the video din on each problem, go ahead and watch that, no? I know you guys want to learn and you are eager to ask me kung, ah, paano ito, paano ganyan? Pero I suggest para hindi nyo ma-waste yung time ninyo kasi I'm really busy and sometimes I don't have time to answer, answer your questions right away. Go and uh, watch, uh, go and look at the uh, YouTube channel. There are 100 plus videos right now. Tingnan nyo muna doon hanapin. Try to find it uh, yourself para hindi nyo na ako kailang hintayin. Okay? So again, I already made a video of this, Jay. So I hope you saw that already. So sabi si Tim and si Jerry yung pinag-uusapan natin. So we have two people. So yung is, this is now. Ang time period natin ay now. And then, okay, yung if Tim is 100. Okay? How old is Jerry if Tim is 100. Actually, this is grammatically incorrect, no? Kasi kung is na siya dito, dapat hindi to is ngayon. So, dapat this will be, will be, okay? If team uh, will be 100. Or kaya, if, uh, so how old will will Jerry be when team uh, is 100? Yan. Mas, mas okay yung grammar niyan, no? So, unting ano lang, bonus content nun. Alright. So, meron kang now. Tsaka meron kang future. Alright? Yan yung ating given, yung table natin. Now, masabi Tim is 4. Ibig sabihin si Tim, 4 years old. Ang brother niya daw is half of his age. Ngayon, anong kalahati ng 4? 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, kung 4 si Tim, si Jerry ay 2. 
Ngayon, in the future, ang sabi, Tim will be 100 years old. So, si Tim, 100 years old. Ang tanong, ilang taon na si Jerry? Now, if you have a table like this, alam mo na agad ko yung sagot. Bakit? Kunyari, si Tim, mas matanda siyang dalawang taon kay Jerry. Kung 100 na siya, edi siyempre si Jerry is 98 years old. Saan ko yung kinuha? Minus 2 lang. Kasi 2 years yung tanda ni Tim kay Jerry. Another thing you can do would be uh, to do this, no? Yung 4 para maging 100, ang ginawa mo ay plus 96. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang future mo ay in 96 years, okay, yung plus 96 na yan, gagawin mo rin kay Jerry. So, 96 plus 2 is still 98. Okay? So, this problem, it looks a little tricky, but um, it really takes just knowing how to draw the table for you to be able to solve it. Okay? Alright? So, this next question is an English question. No language naman tayo. The convicted criminal will be black the day after tomorrow. There are two considerations here. The first thing is yung will be, which places it in the future tense, no? Future tense ito. Bibitayin pa lang yung criminal. Now, the second consideration would be you have to imagine the actual situation. When we talk about the convicted criminal at yung gagawin sa kanya, bibitayin siya the day after tomorrow. Now, there is a specific time, which is, or day, which is the day after tomorrow, pero walang duration. So, uh, because walang duration and hindi pinag-uusapan yung actual moment na ginawa sa kanya. Instead, ang pinag-uusapan nito is, is the intent. As in, bibitayin siya uh, the day after tomorrow. Hindi yung nakabitay na siya the day after tomorrow. Ang gagamitin natin na, na ano dito na itsura is yung ED form. Okay? ED form niya. So, either hanged or hung actually. So, kasi walang, there's no such word as hanged. Hung. Pwede pa siguro. Okay? Will be hang, hindi pwede. Will be hanging, uh, possible. Kaya lang hindi siya, again, hindi siya fit doon sa sitwasyon. Kasi ang sinasabi mo, bibitayin, hindi yung makabitay na siya. Okay? So, kung bibitayin pa lang siya, the best answer here is hang. Now, another quick tip, I'll make a uh, homony horror video rin nito uh, soon. When we talk about hanged and hung, you have to understand na pag taong pinag-uusapan, you always use hanged. Men are hanged. Okay, binibitay. Now, if it's a thing, okay, if bagay siya, things are hung or binibitin. Again, bitay, bitin. There is a difference. Okay, sa hanged and hung. Okay, so when you talk about clothes, they are hung out to dry. But when you're talking about people, they are hanged or binibitay sila. Okay? All right, that's the the end of the, the video for now. I will make more of these, so make sure that you're subscribed to this channel para uh, makuha ninyo yun right away. Hit the bell icon uh, after you subscribe para manotify kayo pag meron ng bagong video. And um, as always, you can all uh, like this, share this with your friends kung feeling ninyo matutulungan din sila lalo na if they're also taking a test. All right? Thank you guys for watching. Aja-aja kayo niyan. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.